Hi everyone and welcome back to Sunday School. My name is Miss Chelsea and this video is for ages 3 to 5. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that there's a special opportunity for the children and youth of this church to participate in another virtual presentation for the church. Uh, this is going to be kind of similar to the one that we did um, over Christmas when people recorded themselves reading parts of the Christmas story. Um, though obviously this time we're not going to be reading the Christmas story, we're going to be reading some different things. Um, so if you participated in that or enjoyed that, um, be on the lookout for an email that gives more information um, and just respond to that email and you will get the information back of what you need to do to participate in that. Um, this is going to be presented on Mother's Day, May 9th. All right, so now to Sunday School. If you're participating today, you'll need a few things. First, you will need Celebrate Wonder, I Can Share Good News journal page. Then you will also need Peter and John Spread Love. All right. In addition, you'll need some things to color with. You will need a pair of scissors and you'll need some tape or glue. That is it for today, so pause the video, grab those things, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, so today our story is from the Bible in the book of Acts. And this story is called, doo -doo -doo. let me find it, oh, it's way back here. <laughs> It's called Peter and John. Peter and John. All right. Peter and John went to the temple to pray. As they were walking into the temple, they saw a man who could not walk. He was lying down by the temple gate. Every day the man sat there and begged people for money. Peter and John entered the temple. The man saw Peter and John and he asked them for money. Peter said, I do not have money to give you, but I have a bitter gift, better gift. I can give you Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter took the man's right hand and helped him get up. At once, the man's feet and ankles became strong, and he jumped up and started walking. The man went into the temple with Peter and John. Everyone who saw the man was amazed. So you might remember Peter and John were some of Jesus' disciples, which means they were his followers. And there's the man who couldn't walk, and now he can. All right. Thanks for listening to my story today. Our faith word this week is share. And share means to offer God's blessings to others. Share. Peter and John shared God's love with the man who could not walk and with the people at the temple. The man and the people probably shared the miracle with other people that they knew. How do you think the man felt when he could stand up, walk, and even jump for the first time? That would be pretty exciting if you spent your whole life not being able to walk or jump, and then suddenly you can. I'd be pretty excited about that. The man wanted money, but Peter offered something else. He offered Jesus and a miracle. What are some things that we could do for other people other than offering them money? Well, one thing that I think of is offering people your time and your company. So if you can't offer people money, you can offer to help them do something, like maybe if they need help doing chores, you could also offer them a conversation. You could talk to people. Or you could even do something like draw a picture or make a nice card for somebody who might need it. There are lots of different ways that we can offer people things that aren't money. All right. As we share God's love with others, they also share God's love. And soon, there are lots of people who have heard about God's love. Our activity today, our first one, is called Peter and John Spread the Love. And since we're talking about sharing Jesus with other people, we're going to create a little envelope together. 
to put this little card of Jesus inside the envelope. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if, if you printed yours in black and white, you can color these two pictures. And then with the help of an adult, you're going to cut out the little card that says Jesus, and then you're going to cut out the envelope. Make sure that you're only cutting on the dark edges, not on these little dashed edges. Now, once you do that, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the side edges inward. Okay. And then you're going to fold the love side in half and you're going to tape the sides to the love thing and keep the top part open though. I'll show you what it looks like. You're going to fold the love part up and you're going to tape those little edges to the inside so that it creates a little envelope. And then guess what you're going to stick inside that envelope? Your little Jesus note. All right, go ahead and pause the video to take your time to create that envelope and we'll be right back. All right, I hope you had fun creating your envelope. Maybe you could even share this envelope with someone in your household. All righty. Peter gave what he could to the man at the temple. He didn't have money, but he had the healing power of Jesus. Let's think about some other things that we could do to share with people about Jesus. As we look at our last worksheet here, I can share good news journal page. While you're coloring your journal page today, think about some ways that you can help share the love of God and the love of Jesus with other people. You could even draw a picture of your idea underneath the gate. This is a picture of a gate because remember there was a gate in our story of, of the, the man who couldn't walk. He was always sitting by a gate. So that's why we're coloring a gate today. All right, go ahead, pause the video, color your gate, and we'll be right back. All right. I wanted to share with you the way I colored my gate. It's called the beautiful gate in Axe. So I tried to make mine look very beautiful. Um, maybe you drew a picture of some way that you could help someone. Maybe you even drew a picture of Jesus, um, Jesus's disciples, Peter and John, or the lame man um, under the gate. Whatever you did with your picture, make sure you share it with someone in your household today. All right, and that is about all the time we have for today. So let's fold our hands, close our eyes, and you can pray with me. Dear God, thank you for helping me to share the love of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for coming to Sunday School, and we will see you next time.